Hey everyone, the long-awaited electrocardiogram app, or ECG app, is finally available for the Apple Watch Series 4. We're taking a look right now how to set it up and how to use it. The first thing you'll want to do is check if your Apple Watch is up to date. You might get a prompt for that first on the watch. If not, you can always go to the watch app, head over to general, and tap software update. You need to be on watchOS 5.1.2 to be able to access the ECG app. Once you're up to date, just go to the Heart app and you'll see that you can set up ECG app in the Health app or set up irregular rhythm notifications in the Health app as well. So when you tap on that, now it'll get you the Health app and it'll say you can take the ECG on the Apple Watch. The ECG app records your heartbeat using the digital crown of your Apple Watch, which is this ro rotating crown button right here. Basically, it's checking uh, your heartbeat for atrial fibrillation, which is a form of irregular rhythm. So the first thing you need to do is set up the ECG app. You'll need to add your date of birth. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add mine. And there's a brief rundown of how it works. Basically, it says that the ECG records an electrocardiogram, uh, which represents the electrical pulses that make your heart beat. The app checks these pulses to get your heart rate and see if the upper and lower chambers of your heart are in rhythm. If they're out of rhythm, that's atrial fibrillation. So then it gives you a breakdown of some results you may see. For example, there's sinus rhythm, and there's little explanations that you can click on to learn more. Uh, atrial fibrillation, lower high heart rates, and then there's inconclusive results. But we really wanna highlight this little note here. It says, these results are not a diagnosis. Do not change any medications or treatment without talking to your doctor. And that's something we have to stress. Again, these are not uh, conclusive diagnoses by a physician. This is just an app giving you your ECG. You really need to consult your doctor if you want to show them something that the Apple Watch told you after using this feature. So there's another you should know. This ECG app can check your heart rhythm for AFib and show your heart rate. There are some things to remember. It cannot detect a heart attack, so don't solely rely on it to check for that. It cannot detect blood clots or a stroke. It cannot detect other heart-related conditions. If you are not feeling well, you should always talk to a doctor. So then you need to take your first ECG, and you should see this note right here. To take an accurate ECG, your Apple Watch needs to be snug on the wrist you selected in settings. So it has to be snug, but also when you set up the Apple Watch for the first time, it lets you know whether you wanna have your Apple Watch on your left or right wrist. So just make sure it's on the wrist that you configured that first time. So first you'll need to open the ECG app on the Apple Watch. You can do that by tapping the crown and looking for the ECG app, which is right here for us. It might be in a different location for you. Just look for the heartbeat button. And it says the same thing that's, it actually tells you what wrist you had configured earlier. So just make sure it's on that list right there. And you can tap okay and rest your arms on the table, hold your finger on the digital crown. And you can see it goes for 29 seconds. Try not to move your arms. and it tries to reiterate that it's not looking for heart attacks. So it's trying to make sure that you're not relying on this feature too much. Uh, and you should definitely always consult your doctor if there's something out of the ordinary. And there we go, it says 95 BPM average. This ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation and for more, it says Apple Watch cannot check for signs of a heart attack, as again, another uh, reiteration. And there's a nice little feature that lets you add symptoms so that you can send that all to your doctor um, in a report. You can press done, and that again lets you go ahead and check it as many times as you want. So now let's exit out of that, and you can see on the app, it says setup complete. This ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. It does give me the sinus rhythm, all of the ECGs you take are stored in the health app of your iPhone and health, you can also make a PDF of your recordings for your doctor. And that's about it. So this is how you export that data to your physician. Basically go to the health app, go to health data, tap on electrocardiogram, and you can see the all data or sinus rhythm, which is what we just got. When you tap on that, you'll see the sinus rhythm. You can tap on that again, and then it says export a PDF for your doctor. 
And after that, it's basically shown to you in PDF form. And this is you know, typically what doctors can see when they do an electrocardiogram in the hospital as well. And you can export that data right over using your email or whatever app you have. And that's about it. Now that you've set up the ECG app, you can also set up irregular heart rate notifications. Basically, you can go back to the watch app, tap on heart, and you can see that the ECG has been set up, and now it says set up irregular rhythm notifications in health. This helps identify atrial fibrillation as well, and you can tap learn more to read more about how this works and why it's useful to track this data. So you can tap on setup, and basically this takes you back into the health app. You can tap on setup notifications, Tap on continue. And you can add date of birth again. And if you have ever been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation by a doctor, I have not, so I'm going to go with no. Another just description of how it works. Four things you should know. Apple Watch cannot detect heart attacks. We've heard that before. Apple Watch is not constantly looking for AFib, so it's not always looking for all instances of AFib, and people with AFib may not get a notification. So again, it's important to know that this is just something to help you supplement your uh, use cases of checking if you have AFib, but it is not by far the uh, best or only way you should be using. If you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor, even if you don't get a notification. Symptoms such as rapid pounding or fluttering heartbeat, dizziness, or fainting can indicate a serious condition. And number four, do not change your medication without talking to your doctor. Receiving a notification. It's just explaining how the Apple Watch sends you the notification. Essentially, it says that Apple Watch identified an irregular heart rhythm if it, you get a notification, and that may be AFib, uh, and if it confirms it with multiple readings. But if you have not been diagnosed with AFib by a physician, you should discuss this notification with your doctor. And that's it. Once you've turned on that button, you'll get this screen, and it's basically some of those steps that you already saw. You can add it to your favorites and see the data here once it's recorded. And if you want to turn it off, you can go back to the Apple Watch app, tap on Heart, and you'll see this little button here, Irregular Rhythm, and the button to turn off notifications. So that's an easy way you can turn it off. And there's nothing else you really need to do. It's something that the Apple Watch would just sort of detect over time, and uh, again, Definitely consult your doctor if you see anything out of the ordinary or receive any notification from that feature. So that's how to set up irregular notifications as well as the ECG app in the Apple Watch Series 4.